is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then, you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You give me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. It's Robert Paulson. Just wanted to see what's shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. Seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. You get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. I really want to hang out with you, buddy. Wanted XP. Got some cool clothes hanging up over here. Your book. I lost someone close to me, too. Damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. What's about Andrew? He, uh told you about him. Andrew. Best bud I ever had. I've known him my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. Guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? They were just chasing me around a second ago because I One ran time, over some lady with my motorbike. A maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. Son of a bitch had corporal protection. Ah, <sighs> typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. Was... <sighs> a few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. Hmm. According to him. But you told him about Andrew. Hey, Mr. Honestly, yeah. thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally. From old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City. That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it and awe. No kidding, the <laughs> amount of people I shoot and run over and stuff? Ashbox and the niche will have to do. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If you felt nothing, that mm. means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Only if you have plot armor. I am. I, um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. And in no place that you live. So happy. Talk to the cops. Find Andrew. Andrew's niche. Or talking to the cops. Is that that thing I picked up?
Beach is 0.7 kilometers away over there. Sanders there. You were a tortoise, but you didn't like a person. A tortoise? Is this some kind of joke? I don't know about you, but Barry didn't seem like the kind of pig to crack jokes. What, a tortoise? Makes no sense, yeah, no. Johnny. Barry said he was the only person he could spill his guts to. That not a good enough reason to buy a niche in a wall? Pay a visit from time to time? Tortoises live a long time. Ah, oh, you're right. I sound like an asshole. Guy was depressed as shit. Only friends he had wouldn't listen. What the fuck else was he supposed to do? Picture this. You've got no one. Beloved granny's been in the ground for years. Only thing she's left behind is a dumb fucking tortoise. But when grandma told you about life, that tortoise was there. When that same life kicked you in the nads, when poor Gram's croaked, it was right there. Imagine how alone you've got to be to buy a niche for a goddamn animal. Aren't you going a little overboard? He had a bond, I get that. But does that mean you gotta dive straight down the rabbit hole? You can ignore the facts all you want. Doesn't mean the <laughs> problem's just gonna up and disappear. If I were you, I'd tell his pals. People have done dumber things over less than a dead tortoise. You think it's that bad? You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. There we go. Well... Inspect Keanu. A little crusty. <laughs> it's you. You talked to Barry? He finally decided to get his shit together? For cry out loud, Mendez. Got another dry, sun-filled week coming your way, night. Hey, so, so what exactly did Barry can. tell you There's about that friend you lost? Again. Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once, he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. <laughs> Very depressed. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. Think he's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Clearly, he couldn't stand his job and didn't have anyone to talk to about it. He said you didn't even try to understand him. See? Was I right? Give me a break. Barry likes playing the drama queen. You just gotta shake some sense into him, trust me. We'll see. We'll have to check in on him later. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. That's some money. Hey, we got some perk points and stuff.